Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry, and in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about an issue that I had with one of my incubators uh, about a week, week and a half ago. Uh, probably one of the biggest fears that most quail breeders have is a incubator issue or an incubator failure uh, while they are uh, incubating eggs that they have set. Uh, anyhow, I walked out into my quail room and I noticed that uh, one of the regulators on my incubator was reading 55.5, 55.6 degrees, and there were no lights on in the incubator. Now, the incubator that I'm talking about is the DIY cabinet incubator that we built here on the channel. And the funny thing is, is that incubator has two fans and two lights or heating elements um, for redundancy. If one should fail, hopefully the other one could take over and you know, keep your incubator up to temperature until you can repair the problem. Um, so anyhow, um, I started panicking. Uh, I looked at the regulator, it was at 55 degrees, but I noticed that the fans were still running and I also noticed that the heat light on the regulator was on. So it was in a heat cycle. Uh, so the only thing that I could uh, figure out happened was that both my heating elements failed at the same time, which to me is kind of hard to believe. But anyhow, I opened up the incubator and I put my, placed my hand on the eggs and they were cold to the touch. I mean, very cold. Um, so what I did was uh, I took the eggs out of the incubator and they were on day 13, I believe, anyhow, maybe 12. Um, so I thought, I'm going to go ahead and uh, candle these eggs and uh, place them in a hatching box and go ahead and uh, repair the incubator and just hope for the best um, during the hatch. <clears throat> so what I did was uh, I replaced both light bulbs in the incubator, candled the eggs. I think I started out with like 60 eggs and after candling, um, I think I had like 40 or 45 uh, good ones. Um, anything that was questionable, I took out. I didn't even uh, try to incubate them um, and I placed them back in the incubator. Um, after I, after I did that, I went online because I was still a little bit, uh, you know, upset. I thought for sure I lost the entire hatch. Uh, so I went online and I started doing a little bit of research and I found a PDF on the Brinzia website. Uh, Brinzia is a, a incubator uh, builder or incubator manufacturer. And the PDF was how temperature affects egg development uh, in the incubator and what to do if power goes out. Um, they had a chart on there, and I'm going to go ahead and put that chart on the screen right now, uh, called the Lundy's Five Incubation Temperature Zones. Um, the five zones are starting at the high end, and I'm going to read these in Fahrenheit. Uh, the high end of zone of heat injury is 104.9 degrees and above. Uh, the next zone is the zone of hatching potential, uh, which is uh, 95 degrees up to 104.9 and that is the zone that we incubate in uh, you know we incubate at 99.5 degrees and we hope that our temperatures you know stay within that zone the next zone is the zone of disproportionate development and that is the zone in which you're going to have uneven development in the egg uh, it could be you know an enlarged head enlarged heart um, small organ stuff like that and that zone is from uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit to 90, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the zone of suspended development is from 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees 0.6 Fahrenheit and anything below 28.4 is the zone of cold injury. Anyway getting back to the eggs that I had in the incubator. Um, I was in that zone of um, suspended development. So I was keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that I would get at least, you know, uh, half a hatch rate. Like I said, when I incubated the eggs, I started out with 60. I think that I put 40 or 45 back in the incubator after I repaired it. And I just, I waited. I wanted to see what was going to hatch and this is actually going to be good news for some of you out there who have had issues you know with power outages or 
not being able to keep uh, your temperatures at a consistent zone. You know, you may notice, you know, that it dropped down to, you know, 95, 96 degrees, and you kind of wonder if you're going to have issues with your hatching. But anyhow, uh, like I say, when I put the eggs back in the incubator, I think I was on day 13. So on day 16, I started watching the eggs and looking for any pipping or uh, unzipping of the egg, and I didn't see anything. Day 17, I got up in the morning, I noticed that one chick had hatched. And I'm like, oh, good. I finally, I got, you know, some, some type of uh, activity going on in the incubator. Um, so I waited till the following morning. I actually, I checked them again that evening. I did notice a few more eggs had pipped, but none of them hatched. I got up the following morning and I had 15 chicks out of the 40 eggs had hatched out. So I was, you know, pretty pleased that I got at least something out of this hatch. Um, I took those eggs out or those chicks out and I placed them in the brooder and put the remaining eggs back in the uh, incubator and let them go for another day. Well, to my surprise, I woke up the next morning and I had another 14 or 15 eggs hatch out. So that put me, uh, I believe, just above 30. I think I had 31 total hatch out. So I was pretty excited that I didn't lose uh, all the eggs. And if you think about it, I had 60 eggs to start with, and I had 30 of them hatch, so I still had a 50% hatch rate, um, even without taking out the eggs that candled uh, infertile. So, um, guys, I hope this uh, helps out a little bit. You know, gives you, encourages you a little bit to um, go ahead and incubate your eggs even though you may have had a failure in your incubator or you had uh, you know temperatures going up and down um, according to the uh, the article i read by brinzia um, chicks can actually survive you know 24 to 48 hours at uh, in the uh, zone of suspended development so even if you were to lose power and your eggs were just say in the 40 to 50 degree range um, you could still potentially get a decent hatch rate so I just want to share that with you guys. Um, I, I see it all the time on the Facebook group page and I get questions asked here all the time on the channel. You know, my incubator lost power for 12 hours. You know, should I throw the eggs away? Should I uh, go ahead and keep incubating them? Um, all I can say is, yeah, it can't hurt to try to incubate them. Okay, guys, so I hope this encourages you to not give up on a hatch if you should have an incubator failure and your temperatures drop. Um, there's always hope for your eggs, so it can't hurt to go ahead and uh, try to develop them. Um, I hope this video uh, gave you a little more insight into what's going on with your eggs at different temperatures. And uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you're not already um, subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, it helps me out, and you can get notified of any new and upcoming videos if you hit that notification bell down below. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this video, post them in the comments section. I try to get in here at least, you know, once a week or so uh, to answer questions. Uh, thanks again for joining me, guys, and we will see you on the next one.